episode 22, Motorola XY board. We're surfing. We're surfing. Surfing on the Android. Surfing on the Android. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Um, one of one of my my biggest pet peeves about the Motorola XY board is just the name. The stupid name, man! What the hell? Know. XY board. I, I don't, don't know. Understand that? I don't know what marketing director came up with this yeah. to say this is a great name. It's a Motorola Droid tablet. That sounds perfect. That's all you, you know. need to say. Version three or version two or you know Motorola ten inch whatever. It's it, yeah. My board. I mean, I I gave it to, to to Jesse and she was just like, "What? It's it's the Motorola XY board, right?" It was seriously right. You're joking, <laughs> you know? It's like, no, no, honey, no. It's just, it's XY. Like it sounds very technical, so it sounds kind of cool to you and I, right? But to the average consumer, I don't think this is a cool thing. Yeah, I don't know if these things really need distinctive names, so to speak. I, I know that you know you have iPhone and you've got uh, the tab and yeah. But I, I, yeah, X Y board. Okay, nix that. So mm -hmm. I guess let's run through the stats. Mm -hmm. um, it's a 10.1 inch screen, uh, 1280 by 800 resolution, made from Gorilla Glass, which is help, which helps. Uh, dual core uh, TI OMAP. 4430, that's a big mouthful. Yeah. 1.2 gigahertz processor, um, one gig of RAM, a five megapixel camera on the back, and does a video at 720p at 30 frames a second, 1.3 megapixel front facing camera, and Android 3.2 on board. So, uh, so let's uh, run through the pros. Why don't you run through some of the pros for Yeah, us? so the pros, I mean, one of the pros that I love, I mean, when, I mean, I know you had it longer than I had it, yeah. right? I've had it for like a day or so. Um, that's all I really needed. You know, it's mm -hmm. just, it's, it's a nice piece of hardware. I love, 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 love the fact that it's 10.1. Yeah. It, 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 it's such a big, you know, it's a big sheet of glass. Mm -hmm. But when you get it into your hands and you're playing around with it and you're, you're, you're going through Google or, you, or you're going through Google Plus, whatever you're doing on, on the tablet, it doesn't feel that big. Right. So yeah. That, that was really cool. I agree. I, I, what I really liked about it. So great. 10.1 inch screen oh, um it's a perfect commuting device for netflix i think that is a great it's a great size mm -hmm. um but in addition uh, it's got a good camera does does yep. uh, decent video mm -hmm. um of course and this is the big selling point is the 4g verizon service built that's, in that's awesome i mean you know and uh, I, I'm, a, I'm a real jerk right because i like testing these devices mm -hmm. inside of a building right because they just, you know, they just, you know, either they 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 work well or don't work at all, or work okay. You know, one of the few companies that we we have always dealt with that their cell signal is always really good, really strong, has been has been Verizon, but 4G. Yes. Verizon 4G. We have never tested anything CDMA. Um, Verizon 4G has always been good to us, whether it's in, inside of a building or outside of a building in New mm -hmm. York City. Um, it's done really, really well for us. Yeah, pretty well. And um, and, and I really, really like that. I know you said you had a few problems. So, well, I mean, Verizon's been having some issues with their 4G service over the last few months. But uh, right. but when it's when it's working, it's 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 very reliable and I uh, agree. very fast. Very nice system. Um, I love, I, I agree with you, I love the texture on the side. I really like the like, texture. Like, like, like it's a little rubberish, right? It's not really rubber, but it's like kind right. of rubberish. So you can grab, you can hold on to it. It won't slip out of your hand like like, like the iPad does. That's exactly um, right. Real nice job. Yeah. Um, love, love the widescreen. And the widescreen is, is good. It really does have a lot of space on it. Yeah. Um, and, it and for that, and I believe for the ice cream sandwich, it's mm -hmm. going to have a lot of space to be able to lay out all of your widgets exactly as you want them all of all of your apps so yeah i really like the form factor and, on I, that. and I love the fact that also that we are working more and more nowadays with gorilla glass yes that is fantastic because you know, listen man when, when you're you know and just to step back a bit to the, to, the, to the prices here right so we have wi-fi model only and we also have the the verizon model right and the, these are you know these are pretty expensive pieces of hardware dealing with here right they are wi-fi wi model 16 gig is 500 bucks. Yep. And the 32 gig Wi-Fi only is 600 bucks. 
That's a lot of money, man. And it, it for is. any little nick, I mean, I don't know about you know the, the rest of the dads out there, but you know, my son loves grabbing grab my iPad, grab my wife's iPad, and he'll sit there and he's three years old, so he'll bang on it or he'll throw stuff at it or he'll grab some keys, and I'm just like, oh my god, you know. <laughs> but with something like this, you know, you're 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 less you're less likely to scream, stop. Right, you know, because it's it's, it's, it's Gorilla Glass, and um, the Verizon 10.1 inch, um, 16 gig. It's it's interesting, right? It's a little cheaper. 16 gig is uh, 479, mm-hmm. and the 32 gig is 579. But the only difference here, though, that is that you need a 4G data plan, right? Right. So the 2 gig will run you 30 bucks a month, the 5 gig will run you 50 bucks a month, and the 10 gig will run you 80 bucks a month. Now this is a great intro. This is a that that laying that out is a great intro for mm-hmm. what my one big con was, <laughs> which is because and this is kind of a weird con because it's sure. it plays on the pro mm-hmm. uh, because Verizon's network 4G network is so good Mm. Um, and this is to be used on the road usually as a commuter um, product that what's going to end up happening is you're going to be going on to Netflix and watching Mm. that streaming video and I think the way it works is Netflix must check your speed in Mm. order to know what quality content to give and Mm. because it's got a great speed it's going to give you the highest quality content Oh, so you so, burnt that data oh, real fast. Oh, man. Over the wow. week that I was using it just for commuting, only just for commuting, I mm-hmm. I used probably, I don't know, uh, 12, 14 gig. Wow. Yeah. You're a monster. Uh, yeah. And it's just, just, wa- just commuting. You know, well, what back were you doing? You was watching Netflix just only? Just Netflix. Wow. I was catching up on my burn notice, you know. <laughs> you got a lot of love and burn notice. But, wow, but no, but crazy, man. and that's the tr- that's the thing. So so you got to kind of keep that in mind when you use sure. it. Now, they do give you a very nice um, data widget that'll give you your updated number of what you what your plan is and what you've used. So um, that's a very helpful uh, widget to have on your screen, I, I that's agree. for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, um, so what are some of the other cons? We got um, when you're watching a embedded YouTube video, um, this is happens. Um, it won't launch YouTube. It'll play it natively inside. When you blow it up, it will stutter over 480. And I think it's because oh, okay. the browser pushes it to Flash, and Flash right. just sucks in general. Mm-hmm. So, um, so that's that was one issue. Okay. Um, when played inside of YouTube or uh, or on YouTube.com through right. the browser, worked fine, perfectly okay. great. Um, it had a long startup time for some reason. It just took mm-hmm. forever to start up. Okay. Uh, maybe they just wanted you to see the funky uh, droid <laughs> eye for a long time. Oh, yeah. um, the volume and the power buttons were just oddly placed, and I just couldn't figure it out without having yeah. to turn it over and look at it. Right. You know, I, I didn't like them because um, I was depressing the, the power button or depressing the, the volume up, volume down, mm-hmm. and I never knew if I was hitting them. Right. You didn't know so if you were I, pushing I had, it. I had, you know, let's say, you know, I have my iPad here, so it's much easier to do. So I had to pretty much just go like this and, and look and go, okay, volume up, volume down, you know, on, off. Right. Um, so I can never just, just press it really quick and, you know, like, not to compare it to, to the iPad, right? But the iPad, you know, things are, are, are protruding out. Right. So you know, I know for a fact, and there's, there's an actual click here, which is really nice. Um, and and I never. Yeah, and I know I agree with you. And I think the, the, the problem with that, that you don't get with the iPad specifically, is that you always, in an Android device, have to hit the power button in order to turn it on. There's, right, right. That's a button that is absolutely yeah. mandatory. Yeah. So there's, there was no. Uh, I think what Zevin try, Zevin trying to say is that there was no give, right, or no click, or no no notification by those three buttons that they're being accessed, they're being used. Right. Um. So that was a, a little bit. You know, it, it's not a deal killer. It's not, really not at all. It was just a little frustrating for right. us. I was like, oh, come on, give me give me something back. Some kind of feedback. So. Right, and I agree. Yeah. And and because of this uh, of the widescreen format, which we also view as a as a pro, mm-hmm. um, it was designed primarily to be used in that format. So um, depends on how you read it. Uh, if you want to use it to read a, a, a longer paper, you might always end up flipping it back to landscape. Yeah, I, I definitely would. I agree with you with that one. I, I would not. I would keep it in, in, in a horizontal format as opposed yeah. to a vertical format because it's this is ten point one inch screen. This is a big big screen and you want to enjoy all that real estate absolutely uh, to do anything else i think would be wrong 
Right. So. And, and then I guess the only other con, I mean, these are all nitpicky cons, but the only other con was that uh, it, it came with a, a micro USB port. Um, okay. And if you hooked it in to anything but the uh, the cable that was given, um, it is it, it did nothing but trickle charge. Uh, the cord hmm. that was given, then it would fully charge appropriately. Otherwise, it would That's really... Curious. It's kind of like the iPad where yeah. um, if you're not using the iPad's 30-pin cable, right, right, it right. kind of it charges trickle. it half trickle. Yeah. Okay. okay. So that's the only other con that I had. But okay. um, I, 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 I've got to say, I really enjoyed my time with the XY board. <laughs> the XY board. I really liked it. I had a good time with it. Uh, a good device um, sitting on a, a good network. Yeah. So, I mean, and even if it wasn't a Verizon network, if it was just a Wi-Fi model only, it would be a good device. Yeah, I agree. But the fact that, you know, that, that we, you can walk with anywhere you want and connect to Verizon's network, a uh, 4G network, and and go. Yeah, and, and, I, and I didn't put this as a pro, but you on this tablet, you can make it a Wi-Fi hotspot. So just keep that in that's mind That's right, well. tell about that. I, I didn't try that piece. I, I, I wish I would have, but um, that's pretty hot. Yeah, for sure. I, Zev and I are big fans of hotspots. We really are with, with kids, so <laughs> for sure. it's, always, it's always critical. Um, so I think we're giving this three. Out we're of gonna five. give a very solid three um, with uh, with with some shortcomings, but uh, it definitely is something to check out and uh, let us know. Try it out and uh, leave us uh, leave us some comments down in the crotch bar and let sure, us sure. know what you think. Sounds good. Listen, Verizon, thank you very much. Thank and you, uh, Motorola, thank you. you. Guys did a, a nice job. Take care. As always, thanks for watching. Only cool people press subscribe. Right here. That thing right there. Yeah, burn notice, man. <laughs> Oh, I caught up on Burn Notice thanks to the XY board. I, I've never watched Burn Notice. No? Oh, no. You, ha you have to check it no. out. It's a lot never. of fun. Never watched it's it. It's what Netflix is made for. It's like a lot of shows that I've never watched. <laughs> People are just like, why? I have no idea. I've never watched it. Sorry.